The A's are 19 games under 500 in early May. They're one of only two teams that hasn't reached 10 wins yet. They have a negative 124 run differential. Their MLB worst ERA is more than one and a half runs higher than the second worst teams. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be an optimistic report, isn't it? Um, but hey, they have won a whole three games out of their last 10. Won two games in a week for the second time this season or over the past week. They're only 12 and a half games out of the wild card, and they're 25th in team batting average and run scored. That's right, there are five teams that are doing worse than them offensively. I'm sure they're currently talking to their therapists or their ice cream about that. Their pitchers are also not last in the league in strikeouts. We won't mention how high the walk total is, though. Hence, it may be more than five per game. We're also second in MLB and stolen bases. Gotta get into scoring position for that 25th in the league offense. Here's some more things to be excited about. The A's did begin the week with a three-game sweep by the Mariners, but Game 1 featured Mason Miller pitching seven no-hit innings and then getting a loss against the Mariners because the bullpen has taken on water. J.P. Sears pitched great in the second game, too. Six innings, four hits, no runs, two walks, and seven strikeouts. And a no decision. It has not been smooth sailing for the starting pitchers. How about that stellar offense? As say Uri Ruiz went 4 for 11 in the series with two runs scored, three RBI, and two stolen bases. Tony Kemp had a couple of RBI. They only made one error. They were keeling it against the Mariners. Holy cow. Wonder what's on deck for the next series against them. Then the A's dominated a weekend series, getting a series win for the first time in seven months. Please don't look at the box score and realize that it was against the Royals. But one Royal was being coronated this weekend, and the A's totally stole his thunder by beating up on the other Royals. Mason Miller had a decent start on Sunday, six innings, five hits, two runs, one walk, and five strikeouts. And a loss. Apart from Fujinami, none of the relievers gave up any runs in this series. Offensively, Este Uri Ruiz was 5 for 15 with 3 runs scored, 2 RBI, and 3 stolen bases. JJ Bladet also went 5 for 10 with 3 runs scored, an RBI, and a home run. Only one error. I think this beatdown of the Royals means the A's get to sit on the coronation chair. So who was hot this week? Mason Miller. 13 innings, 5 hits, 2 runs, 5 walks, 11 strikeouts. And probably a little side eye toward Richard Lovelady on Tuesday. This week in A's baseball and a meme.